I want to ask a, a couple direct questions to our guest. Uh, I'll start with uh, with Forrest. Forrest, is the bottom for Bitcoin in? Yes or no? Uh, seventy seventy percent in. I was eighty percent. I was eighty percent right after the bottom. Um, but I'm just gonna say seventy percent because uh, nukes are on the table now. <laughs> Okay. I, I did not call that one. I did not call that in my bingo card for for twenty. <laughs> I'll get a little wrong. I'll go ninety ten. Like I, I'm a little more. I love that you're. I'm seventy eighty two, man. See, I love. See, I only trust people that put in the same amount of time that I do into the charts. I don't listen to anyone else if they don't do it every day. You know what I mean? Like I just. It's not. It's it's like someone who doesn't study math and you're sitting there doing pre calculus. It's not. It's it's not worth it to have a conversation. You know. So, so I love that. I'm saying ninety ten, man. I have this. That I have too many already? indicators that are coinciding together. 90% in already? Yeah, you know, I'm going to go a little higher today, but is there, based on the fear, you is, know? Is there, is there a uh, bottom indicator, like maybe a, a couple of indicators or one specifically that you guys, like that is your go-to to where it flashes a signal or it looks a certain way, you're like, all right, the bottom's in. Forrest, do you have a favorite indicator? favorite indicator? I got to build them. For me, it's when, when Bitcoin hit the green easy band, when it hit the green bold easy band. Can you share um, that, by the way? Because there's look, a lot of viewers bands, in here that I've, that I've never seen. Uh, they probably have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, sure. Um, so I'll share my screen here when we you know go back over to and the, While the you do that, I'm just going to give here. a quick shout out. We got some new people in the chat, so I'm going to just drop a couple of olas real quick. Uh, we got a Domino's, Sean, McFry, S-Pin, Cryptoholic Love, Craze, David, Timmy, Toby, Michael Bennett, Michael, uh, Mr. Toby. Tech Goody, uh, Battle Boss uh, Trading, Sony, Motivation. Hola! Welcome to Sin City Crypto. So, go ahead. Yeah, so I mean, look, it's when 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 Bitcoin comes down to this green easy band level, and this is just based off the twenty one week simple moving average. It's a uh, a you know projection off of the twenty one week simple moving average that takes into account margin pressure levels. Basically, when Bitcoin gets down to this green level, uh, all the shorts it becomes very very risky to short Bitcoin and very like like a lot of the sell pressure just has to leave. And Bitcoin very rarely takes a trip. We're, we're, we're taking a trip all the way back down to, to 2014. Very rarely does it go here, right? And when it does, it doesn't mean that the bear market bottom is necessarily in. We ended up taking three trips in this bear market. The time we really wicked through it was the bottom. Uh, but that's the last time since around 2014 that we've actually taken a trip down to the green easy band level and it wasn't the bear market bottom. Uh, both of these, I mean, you could call this... Either of these, the bear market bottom, this was a flash crash due to the pandemic. And again, like I think everyone that's going around saying 12K Bitcoin or 6K Bitcoin, that's a scenario that looks like this. That's a scenario where something really bad happens, like a global pandemic or like a, you know, that, that's like a, a black swan event type of, uh, of, of scenario. Uh, but we've recently come down and we had all of this forced selling. And this was, in my opinion, a, a bit of a black swan event uh, be, that was sparked, right, by the, uh, the Terra Luna collapse, right? And all of the contagion and forced selling that that caused from Celsius and from Voyager. And that's a whole nother discussion. But that's what it took to bring Bitcoin down to this green easy band level. Now the green easy band is around this, you know, 10 to 12K region. So 10 to 12K is on the table. But in my opinion, what it takes for to take Bitcoin down to 10 to... That like, I, I don't think the status quo is just going to stay the same and Bitcoin's just going to trundle its way down to 12K. Uh, I especially don't think it's just going to drop there overnight unless something really bad happens. All right. That's why I'm like 70, 70, 30, 80, 20. Like, Hey, you know, if something bad happens, yes, like this is, this is the level we'd expect it to drop to. Uh, but I'm not going to, you know, I, I don't think the likelihood right now in and of this, this exact moment in time of, of something really, really bad happening uh, is the most likely scenario. I don't think nukes are the most likely scenario. At least I hope not. Uh, and look, at the end of the day, uh, as gruesome as it is, you know, to, to, you know, talk about this, like either if nukes happen, either you're going to buy a generational low or you're going to be dead, right? You're going to, you're either going to, you're either going to be dead or you're going to have the opportunity to buy Bitcoin at like two, $3,000. Uh, 
uh, is is bad as that sounds. Uh, it's a real scenario that you have to take into account. But as far as indicators go, we hit the green easy band level. The last time, the last bear market, we hit it twice. The one before that, we hit it a couple more times. But we don't have to hit it multiple times. One time's enough. Okay. Yeah. Um, Lifer, what about you? What's what's your... Uh, Check this out. I've been yeah, go ahead. Show, going please, over show these. Us. I call it like the quad quad vector, right? You have a trifecta, quad, quad vector, or whatever. That's right. So I keep going over these same ideas. All right. Number one, eight day Gaussian channel. Every time the green turns to red, we bottom. Clear as day on December third, two thousand eighteen. Right. Go all the way back, even further back to here. The green turns to red, and December, you know, of two thousand January of two thousand fifteen, we bottom. Clear as day. You can zoom in there and see how nice. I my heart races when I do this, and I get goosebumps. Like I, I want to be called like Sammy Chills. This the, the Sammy Chills. This tea gives me the chills. It really does because like every time I do it, like I'm like, man, I think we could be calling a bottom live in front of tons of people. Like so here and again, anything is possible. Like you have to always be open minded as a trader that anything is possible. Here again, green turns to red. That's your bottom again. All right. I remove the Gaussian channel right here, and I flip to my 800 day moving average, and I flip back to the daily. Okay, check this out. And then I flip on five moving averages. The fifth, I got uh, a band of the 21, the 50, the one, the 80, the 100, and the 200. Point of the story is right at these same areas where we call bottoms, we, this is 2014. When the 800 day moving average, simple, smooth, crosses the 50, that's your bottom. By the time you cross the 200, you're dwindling, but you've bottomed. You, like Forrest said, it doesn't mean we don't hang out here for a while. It doesn't mean we don't play games in a bear market, but it means that that is our bottom. We continue. We fast forward to where we are now, and we go to right where we are. Like here we go again to 2018, the same Gaussian channel. The 800 day crosses the 50. There's your bottom again. Third time again, the 800 day, of course. And we knew this before it happened. We, we were here on my channel. We saw across the 50. We saw across the 100. By the time it hits the 200, you're dwindling out. That's a beautiful double bottom. I also see bullish divergence on the weekly, which I've never seen. Like, you don't see it. It's so rare. And the RSI right here is pointing to the upside, while the price action is pointing to the downside. Like, you just don't see that. That's just very rare. Like, go and backtest that yourself. Go look for as many bullish divergences as you can on the weekly for Bitcoin. There's like four, maybe two or three or something in the last five years. It's rare. It had that to me. I trade that like while the everyone else is looking at other things. I trade this stuff. Last thing I'll show you is the BLX on the Pi cycle bottom. It called the bottom here, here, and here again, all in the exact same places. Those three other indicators. Mm -hmm. To me, there's no such thing as a coincidence. That makes my hair stand up. I can't understand. Like to me, if that's not a bottom, and again, my green band, like that's my green band too. I'm a little like that's the low price for Bitcoin at every single channel on the rainbow. I mean, he's spot on. I've, I feel pretty spot on. And again, we could be wrong. It could go to 10K black, you know, swan events. Yeah. But I think a black swan event would force people into Bitcoin. That, you know, that's... And I think we got I, I the, think the ads running for us. I think at this point, we're done with people you, playing The games. news itself, you, you've seen what happened. That that kicked off uh, the, the pandemic, you know, the March closure. That kicked off the bull market. And so, you know, you know if a black swan event comes, then that's that's the point. You know what I mean? Like you, you fast forward forty eight hours, and that's probably uh, the bottom. Like, and then from I, there, I'm, it's uh, smooth sailing, right? I've been I mean, at least for, history says that. I've been saying this for a while, and I hundred percent agree with Lifer. I think when people's backs are against the wall, and they look at all these assets available, they look at uh, risk on assets, stocks, they look at bonds, they look at the dollar current, they look at gold, anything, and they're gonna look at something like Bitcoin and say, well, uh, not controlled by a government, uh, it's borderless got a fixed supply no inflation no i mean why wouldn't you right why wouldn't you do that and so that's kind of been my theory but that was amazing guys uh again go subscribe to crypto lifer go to subscribe go subscribe to crypto stackers pro these guys invaluable technical analysis and information in general